Yo, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Dom Workman. And look, when you think about a player like a Ja Morant, a Russell Westbrook, De'Aaron Fox, all of these guys are great at getting downhill and attacking in the open court. But in 2K, you rarely see anybody that actually plays downhill. And I'm sitting here the other day, I'm on one of my slashing point guards, and I'm like, bro, why am I sitting here trying to go left and right? Because y'all know most of my builds don't even have drive and dunk on them. So I'm not used to playing downhill. But then I take a look at my badges and I'm like, yo, bro, I even got Hyper Drive Hall of Fame. Why am I not using it? And I had just got done watching some De'Aaron Fox highlights. So I said to myself, like, yo, look, I'm going to switch my play style up a little bit. And instead of coming down the court and trying to size somebody up and go left and right, I'm going to just go straight at them and see how it goes. And I'm telling y'all right now, I ain't going to say too much, but I got a good feeling that this type of play style and these type of builds are going to be really effective in 2K24. Because when you look at what Mike Wayne said about the new blowout dribble feature and how you can change pace on the fast breaking in the half court, that's going to make these builds super dangerous. And not only that, but he also said that Euro steps, hop step layups, all of that got boosted too. So don't be surprised if the meta ends up being a slash and playmaker with a midi on him. And I know everybody loves the sharpshooting playmakers, and I do too, the Steph Curry type builds and all that. That's cool, but I'm telling y'all, these slashing guards are going to be different. But as y'all can see, man, I started the game off, and I went straight at the rim and got an end one. So we up 3-2 to two right now. And right here, I used a change of pace and hit him with a mean moving crossover. Got him both spinning, going the wrong way. And I don't know what the center was doing, but he ain't looking like he want no parts of that. But my center, as y'all can see, he wants all the smoke. He throws it out to me on the break, and like I said, bro, I'm going brain dead. I'm going straight at the rim. And as a slasher, I feel like, yo, that's how you're supposed to play the game. But I'm not used to playing like that, because like I said, most of my builds don't even have driving dunk on them. And check how I'm going to come down the court right here. All downhill movement. Moving spin, moving cross, and he's trying to bump me. I don't care. I'm going straight to the bucket. I'm telling y'all, bro, at least to me, moving crossovers are highly underrated. And this is where things like speed with ball and hyper drive come into play. And y'all already know, those are two things that most people claim you don't even need. And the only reason why they say that is because they don't play downhill. But look, I'm getting to the rim so much, now the center's worrying about me. And that opens up easy dump offs to my big man. And I want y'all to understand something. This whole game, I'm on a slasher and playmaker, and I'm basically playing with an inside big. And that's what I be trying to tell people, like, yo, I can work with an inside big, but he has to know what he's doing. He has to know where to be on the court. Those little dump off bailout passes are always gonna be there. Because look, I don't care what nobody says, bro. The reality is the center cannot guard two things in the paint. It's just not possible. If I beat my man and I get into a limitless takeoff dunk and that center's not in the right spot, he's getting boomed on. So he's gonna have to pick and choose what he wants to stop and what he wants to guard. And if he steps up on me, you're supposed to be in the spot where I can dump the ball off to you. And that's an easy standing dunk or a layup. And look, right here, I beat my man down the court again. And I already showed him I got the midi on me. So he got to step up on me. And that leaves the center wide open. Now, right here, I get the ball with a low shot clock. Stunner sets me a pick, but it doesn't hit. So I got to get creative. And I hit him with that fade. And that's what I love about this build, man. When it comes to scoring inside the arc, this build is elite. Finishing at the rim, elite. And right there, I seen Big Man with the rim take on and all that. But just because you in the paint don't mean you're in the right position to get the stop. But as y'all can see, we down five with a minute 46 left in the game now i dot this man wide open in the corner and listen man especially in a close game you look a lot worse if you don't shoot when you're wide open than if you shoot the ball and just end up missing and look man in 2k24 i'm not trying to watch none of that bullshit bro start shooting the ball man just shoot the ball nobody cares if you miss it's not the end of the world if you ass you ass not shooting the ball when you wide open ain't gonna change that but look man we down two with 30 seconds left in the game and i have no idea what the hell i was doing right here man i completely missed my guy in the corner wide open but i dump it off to the big man and he hits the bot in the corner for some reason the bot ends up breaking but luckily he gets it back and he gets fouled so now i'm just praying like y'all hope this dude got free throw on his build man because y'all know how it is bro like everybody in here all these inside bigs for whatever reason these dudes never have any free throw on their builds and as y'all can see he had me fooled on the first one i thought he had that free throw on him but clearly the one we needed to tie the game up he couldn't knock it down so now it's either get a steal or foul and luckily i'm able to get a bump still on the point guard trying to bring the ball up the court and look honestly that was gonna be an easy two but somebody called a timeout i swear you can't make this shit up now right there i probably could have dunked it but i want to get a surefire bucket man so i fry these two dudes trying to double team me i get to the midi pull up and you already know that's cash 
So look, now all we gotta do is get one stop. And remember, my build is like 6'2 with no defense on it. So look, you see what my guy's doing? He's trying to get the ball in the paint. And if they were smart, they would've just given them the ball, let them post me up, and then just kick it out if anybody tried to help. But they hit the stretch big right here, and he gets a really good look at a three. And mind you, he's been knocking down the whole game. So when I seen that, I was like, oh shit, we might take an L, but luckily he ends up missing, and we get the dub. But yeah, man, that's just a quick video to share my thoughts and give some examples of what I think is going to be an effective playstyle for guards going forward in 2K24. Feel free to let me know y'all thoughts in the comments, man. But as always, I appreciate all the support. If you ain't following me on Twitter, man, be sure to give me a follow over there at BeLikeDom. And y'all already know what it is, man. Stay up. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.